it's demo day. What do we do on demo day? What do we do? Yeah. Demolish. What do we do? What's our like, what's our thing? What do you mean? I don't know. Our signature move. <laughs> we don't have signature moves. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are we wrestlers? We have signature demo day moves. Like, what do you do on demo day? <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> to grow radishes because they only take 30 days to grow. And they're like a super crop. <laughs> I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight So we started out by removing all of the interior skins that were left on the floor The previous owner had already torn out all of the interior components And so we just needed to get them out of our way to clean up our working area And they were quite long and they smelled gross yeah, and they were a little bit wet. And a little mildewy. Yeah. I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Oh, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me. We also were able to open up the windows while we were working and pretty much all of them work except for that back one, right? It's not that it doesn't work either, it's just kind of Stuck. sealed shut and I don't want to push on it too hard and end up breaking it. So. Yeah, and well, so uh, you, they're glass, right? Most of the windows? All but two of them are, are the original tempered glass. Uh, two of them were probably broke at some point and it looked like they were just replaced with plexiglass. And then we had to take the wires off. Yeah, so next up, they had the previous owner had also left all the electrical wiring just hanging loose. Went in and cut out all the connections um, and pulled it out through the chaseways and um, we took it out in one big pile and then I salvaged what I could to reuse for later. <laughs> So the floor has been replaced by the previous owner. The, the trailer wasn't weatherproofed after the floor was completed, and so there's a fair amount of water marks on the floor. It's not necessarily damaged per se, there's a few somewhat surfacey soft spots. It's, it's a question mark at this point as to whether we want to replace some sections of it or just keep it as is. Where you're standing right now is probably the biggest wet spot. I think this is worse. Oh, in the back corner? I think where this hole was left open and all of these spots were left open where there was just water coming in and these, these corners and everything, these edges right around here. So that's why I'm, you know, I'm uncertain as to how much, what extent we go to to tear this out. So it looks like the previous owner had already torn out all of the old insulation that was underneath the skins and they had started to put up new insulation in some of the sections and then it just kind of stopped uh, after maybe getting it like 30% complete. And so just to give us a fresh start and to reveal all the wiring that we needed to pull out, we decided to just take down the insulation and then start completely anew. You're not getting any like Sharpie stuff on you? No. No. It doesn't feel sharp at all. It was a cotton candy. Um, nom, 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 nom. Just kidding. Don't eat it. Not safe for consumption. Not safe. <coughs> That's why I feel like it's not safe for breathing either. It's making me cough a lot. Watch me. 
We don't really have anything else to demo. No, not yet. Not the moment. Not yet. What's next for the Airstream? Hmm, next steps. I don't. I don't have a. I don't have a perfect plan yet as to next steps. We need to really close up some of these gaps, especially as we come into winter. So you'll see this opening right here. So weatherproofing is key. To be continued. TBD. TBC. 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 <laughs> <laughs>